Good morning, first item. Business this afternoon is the time for reflection. The time for reflection leader today is Ms Mora White, the leader of the Girl Guides in Coatbridge. Good afternoon. I have belonged to Girl Guiding for over 30 years and work within a unit in Coatbridge, North Lanarkshire. We are part of Girl Guiding Scotland, which at present has 59,000 members, including almost 11,000 trained volunteer leaders. This is the largest girl-only youth organisation in Scotland. Our statement of purpose is Girl Guiding UK enables girls and young women to develop their potential and make a difference to the world. The aim of guiding is to help girls and young women develop emotionally, mentally, physically and spiritually so they can make a positive contribution to their community and the wider world. The core value of guiding is our promise and law the fundamental principles of which remain unchanged. They are, in fact, what unite 10 million girls and women across the world. We all have a sense of belonging. We see a five-year-old girl joining rainbows, unsure of what to expect, not wanting to join in the activities. Slowly, she becomes involved in the group chat and gradually she belongs. Moving on to brownies again, the same feelings of uncertainty arise. This time within brownies is a great learning process with new skills and tasks achieved and with pride she takes home her well-earned badges. What a different person she is becoming, more confident and self-assured. She belongs. Moving into the guide unit is also a challenging time with another phase of adjustment. But quickly she integrates and, with the help of her patrol leader, learns to give her opinion and help make decisions of what they, as a group, would like to achieve. She also has the opportunities to travel further, often abroad, and attempt new personal activities that teach her she can achieve great things in her life. The range of badges that can be earned is extensive, and even the Queen's Award, the highest badge attainable to girls, is within her reach. Still, she belongs. Each guide and guider still have their own identity and opinions, but need to share these opinions, learning to appreciate and tolerate each other. As guiders, we still belong and strive to do our best for the girls in our care. Similarly, you all present different parties across Scotland and belong to the Scottish Parliament, striving to do your best for the people of Scotland. I wish you all continuing success in your endeavours. <laughs> 